Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, first of all, I want to say I apologize for not being so active here on YouTube. The reason for that is because I've been very busy recording and tracking guitars for the new Firewind record. Uh, it's coming along great. Can't wait for you to hear it. Um, but we're still um, working hard at that and then we're going on tour in a few days. Um, so uh, be patient with us because there's gonna be some announcements coming soon. Uh, in the meantime, if you're digging what you're seeing here, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment of what you'd like to see in the future. Um, and that's it really. You know. um, now today, I'd like to uh, take the opportunity and um, give you a few quick tips or a lesson on uh, the symmetrical scales and give you some examples of that. Now, what is a symmetrical scale? Uh, it's a scale that um, basically divides an octave into equal parts and uh, intervals up and down this, uh, the octave repeat. Um, to give you an example, the most common example in rock and metal guitar would be the diminished scale. And that's because it looks like this. So if you can see, it repeats every three frets. Another example is the half diminished scale. That's actually uh, a scale that goes like half step, whole step, half step, whole step, and repeats basically all the way up. So. So you can see, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, and so on. And this is a lick you can do with that actually. You can play the same three notes here on the 10th, 12th and 13th fret on the E string and then skip the B string and play the same exact frets on the G string. And uh, another symmetrical scale is the whole tone scale. give you an example of a lick that I'm using on one of my songs called Burn. It's the very uh, last lick of the guitar solo and it goes like this. So it's a cool tapping lick based on the whole tone scale. So what I'm doing is I'm playing on the 12th fret here on the G string. I tap and, um, sorry, I hammer on and tap. I tap on the 18th fret. And it's the same thing, same shape on the B string. So I do the ascending and then pull off. That's the pattern. Then move up a whole step and then move up another whole step. And then I take it up to the high E string. So yeah, these are some examples that I use that I think are pretty cool um, for uh, symmetrical scales like uh, the half diminished, diminished and whole tone scales. Uh, hopefully they uh, inspire you, they give you ideas to come up with your own stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks.